Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome to another vlog on two different channels. I'm going to put on the second channel just the movie parts for the movie channel, and then there'll be more of the vlog on my personal channel. So, if you're watching my movie channel and you want to see more of this vlog, then uh, you can be sure to go to the other channel and uh, see the rest of the vlog. But anyway, I'm going to watch a couple movies today at City World. I'm excited. I'm going to watch a horror movie, A Quiet Place Part 2, and Cruella. Yeah. I'm watching Corella mainly because I liked 101 Dalmatians when I was a kid so I thought hey villain origin story let's see let's see how this goes it's funny I was watching a Sean Chandler review and he said if you didn't like the trailer you probably won't like this movie that's that's not exactly what he said but it's basically what he said um, and I do respect his reviews I never let his reviews uh, I never let anyone's reviews sway me like I always watch reviews because I like to hear people's uh, different perspectives on certain movies but I didn't like the trailer, but I want to see it just because I liked 101 Dalmatians. Maybe I'll like this origin story, we shall see. And as for A Quiet Place Part 2, well I watched the first one at home, and um, with horror movies, as I've said, I've seen a few recently. I can handle it when it's evil humans or monsters like A Quiet Place, even though they do still scare me. What I can't handle is stuff like The Conjuring or Annabelle or Paranormal Activity. I can't handle the whole ghost demon stuff. I'm never gonna get into that. But these type of horror movies like A Quiet Place and Get Out, so, you know, I can get into stuff like that because I, I can take it, but I can't take ghosts and demons. That's a no can do. Monsters I can do, not ghosts and demons. Anyway, that van I just recorded, there's a tent behind it, and inside the tent is a wrapped up BMW. I'm assuming that's a present for someone. Someone's a lucky person. About to see A Quiet Place Part 2 first. It starts in about 10 minutes. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I'm gonna get the scary movie out of the way before I watch the Disney movie. The reasons I'm seeing Cruella is because I like when they explore villains' origin stories because there's always a way they are. There's always a reason that they are the way that they are. The reason they turned evil. So I like to see the moment that they snapped and the moment that led up to it. So there's a lot of good villain origin stories out there. Hopefully this one is good, but Again, wasn't impressed by the trailer, so that's not a good sign, but we'll see. Hopefully it's good. But first of all, Quiet Place Part 2. I'm going to buy some nachos, then I'm going to go in. Right, so A Quiet Place Part 2. I just watched it. Uh, it was quite scary, and there was a lot of jump scares. It had me on the edge of my seat for most of the movie. It was very intense. But um, in terms of how good it was, it was pretty damn good for the most part, apart from the ending. It was just as good, if not better, than the first one. Um, Chillian Murphy was a great addition to this movie as well. He played a great, great character. And um, yeah, if you've seen the first one, then I think you enjoy this one too. It largely carries on, but the opening scene happens before the first movie, and then the rest of the movie happens after the first scene. The first scene basically, it, it takes place when it starts happening, at the outbreak, shall we say. and. Uh, he also introduces Chilin Murphy's character, so he's like a friend of the family and um, they eventually meet him later on. Yeah, so it was very good, really enjoyed it, apart from the ending. The ending, it didn't come at the wrong time, I felt like the movie was more than long enough, I felt like the movie, the, the length I think was perfect, I think it was really like, it was the tone was great, the pacing, that, that's the word I'm looking for, the pacing was very good. It's just when they ended it, like in the middle of the movie, there's something they're sort of like building up to. But the way it ends compared to the way they build up to it, I felt like it was a little bit anticlimactic. And um, I would only be satisfied if they make a third movie where they conclude it properly. Because the way they ended this definitely opens up for a third movie. And I hope they do make that third movie because otherwise this ending kind of annoys me a little bit. So hopefully they make a third one because they need to continue the storyline because the way they ended it, I'm not a big fan but the rest of it was good um, one thing about horror movies that I dislike is when people separate so there's part of the movie where one person goes somewhere and another person goes somewhere else and just like, what are you guys doing? don't split up, <laughs> stay together but yeah, uh, that's just a common horror movie trope I guess but honestly though, solid movie apart from the ending if it wasn't for the ending, I'd have given it a 9.5 but I'm going to give it an 8.7 alright, I feel like the ending knocks it back but if they make a third one and and um, obviously build up to what they've been building up to then maybe I like the ending of this one more but we'll see, as, as of this moment 
because there's no third one yet and I don't know if there's a third one yet at the moment the ending was a bit disappointing but apart from that many good moments very good it was great until the very last scene that was pretty much my thoughts anyway Cruella is next I'm a big fan of origin villain origin stories I'm a fan of Wonder Woman Dalmatians didn't like the trailer I do like Emma Stone hopefully this is good so uh, yeah the movie starts in like 20 minutes I've got some time I'm just sitting here in a socially distant seat not many people here I think there's more staff than people in this cinema funnily enough it feels really weird there's no one here no one absolute silence you might call it a quiet place see what I did there okay so I finished watching Cruella it was better than I expected um, the trailer didn't impress me to be honest but the movie impressed me quite a bit more um, Emma Stone I think was brilliant as Cruella she played the character so well Emma Thompson as the antagonist as well played her character well I'm not entirely convinced by Emma Stone's British accent um, it was convincing for half of it the other half not so much and also the same with the comedy actually the same vibes the comedy it's British humour, so you know, it's, it's kind of it's close to home. I live in London, of course. Most of this movie takes take place in London, apart from like the first scene, which is in the countryside. The rest of it takes place pretty much all in London, so that's great. And it's old fashioned London, too, so you're going to see old landmarks and buses. You know, it's, it's nice, it's nice. And you get to see the people in London and uh, the emergence of Corella, and of course, some Dalmatians as well. Not 101 of them, but there's, there's a few of them in this movie, there's a few of them. Um, Cruella, right from the start, like you get to see like what kind of made her turn in a way. Um, she always, from the start, had a good side and a bad side, even before like things bad things happened to her. But obviously, bad things do happen to her in her life, which kind of lets the bad side take over. I'm not gonna say much else because spoilers, but um, she meets a few friends in London as well that help her out, and uh, there's a few dogs involved, not just Dalmatians. But yeah, they're involved in deeper ways than you might think. And this movie was deeper than you might think. You know, there's a lot of comedic scenes, but a lot of serious scenes, some deep scenes, some emotional scenes. This wasn't a great movie to me, but it was pretty good. It was okay, like a good okay, not a bad okay. Um, I think Emma Stone did carry it though. Her performance was fantastic, aside from some dodgy accent bits. But yeah, overall, for a movie that takes place in old-fashioned London and for, in a way, a prequel, I guess, to Dalmatians movies. I don't know if it's like, if it's own, its own timeline, if it's like connected to the other movies, but either way, like as an origin story for a villain, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's better than I expected. A lot better than the trailer, that's for sure. And um, yeah, um, I think they ended it quite well as well. At times it dragged a bit. It was like a two hour, 10 minute movie. There is a mid credit scene, not an after credit scene, but a mid credit scene, which is just, it wasn't necessary to be honest. Um, it's quite a long movie, at times it dragged a little bit, but not, not really towards the end, it's like in the middle, a lot of things, I feel like they put a lot in. I think they could have cut out like 10-20 minutes out of it, um, but story-wise, character-wise, not bad, not bad, and I don't regret watching it, which I was fearing that I might regret it, but uh, I do not, that was pretty good, that wasn't too bad. A Quiet Place 2 was definitely the better movie that I saw of the two today, but Cruella also wasn't too bad, it was okay, A Quiet Place was great though. I give that one 8.7 only because of the ending that wasn't too great. Cruella, I'd give a 7.5. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to give it a higher rating, but it's okay. Would I watch it again? I wouldn't buy it, but if it was on TV, I'd probably would watch it again. But yeah, that's my thoughts on that. You know, when I was watching Cruella, there was something that Emma Stone reminded me of, the way she was doing her accent. She reminded me of Kate Blanchett, specifically Kate Blanchett from... Thor Ragnarok as Hela. Emma Stone sounds like she's trying to sound like Hela from Thor Ragnarok. Hopefully it's not just me that, hear, that says that, that hears that, because the more I think about it, the more I think she sounded a bit like Kate Blanchett. Back to the vlog. I'll now wait for my lift, which is late, and the vlog air ends here for the movie channel, but for the other channel, it continues for a bit. So I have found even more of my uh, old stuff from school. So this is year seven. Couldn't find year eight, but I went to a different school for a term in year seven, then moved to Southgate School. So this is, this is from the first school, first secondary school I went to. So uh, found that gem. 
Found a few other things as well, found a lot of match tickets and stuff. Actually, I'll show you. Then so we're still clearing things up, but this cupboard was, you might have seen it in a previous vlog before, like in the main channel vlog, I think, from years ago. If you were here, if you were around for that long. Uh, but yeah, um, this used to be like stacked full of bags and suitcases of things from like the last 25 years. And we finally cleared it out. It's like, this is the first time I've seen this floor in a long time. There's the Christmas tree, Christmas decorations, there to one side. Uh, these are part of my uh, workstation, my table. I bought a table from Ikea and it has different parts that you can like, you can modify it to how you want it. And I removed the boards and I guess they're just there in case I need them in the future. Um, and I put my boxes here, boxes of things that I bought, tripod, PS5, Series X, Series S, uh, headphones two DC collection things. Oh, here's some bog roll. And uh, some of the things, most of the things that I kept are still in here. Some books I bought. A controller doesn't work anymore as well. There's another thing, Toys R Us gold, gold card. And I found many tickets, found many match tickets. I found England v Scotland, England v, no sorry, Arsenal v Wigan, FA Cup semi-final. Um, somewhere here is Sunderland away, Man United away and some postcards for some reason. Community Shield versus Chelsea that we won. Brazil, England v Brazil. Uh, there's Man United away, found this. Um, where else? England v Netherlands. Postcard, postcard. There's a few other tickets here, like under here. Where else? England v France. Arsenal Cup game, I think. Semi-final v Reading, FA Cup. Well, England v San Marino, one of the... It was a five to win, I think, when we granddad. England v Belgium. Sunderland away, my first ever away game in Arsenal. I found that ticket. Uh, Emirates Cup, and this is Real Madrid Stadium Tours. And uh, Emirates Cup again. There's a few others, I think, that I've missed. But they're all in there, and... Um, one thing I couldn't find was Reading away in 2013. We won 7-5. I even tweeted a picture of it saying, I'll never lose you, back in 2012. And it turns out I lost it. Could, cannot find it. And there's another old books in here as well. Somewhere in here is Seamus' signature as well. I got my got this book signed by, by Seamus. Boy, I lost the page. It's somewhere around here though. I did find it. And um, yeah, looks a lot better now. <laughs> A lot better. We basically sorted out all of my belongings from the past 20 years. So a lot of school books have been thrown out already and recycled amongst other things, given away, whatever. All of my things are sorted. All that's left on the floor is, uh, well, not in the cupboard, but outside the cupboard are my mom's things and she's, she's gonna go through them. Uh, we, we spent like three, four hours l last night just uh, clearing that cupboard. A lot of effort, but um, we got there in the end. And my mom says that she doesn't need the cupboard either. And that's where, that's actually where the electric, uh, there's an electric meter in, in the corner. It's a very important part of, of the flat, so it's a good thing that's all clear. And um, she said she said she doesn't need it, so that whole cupboard is all mine now, so I can put whatever I want in there. And hopefully it never gets that messy again. Uh, if I don't need something, I'll throw it out this time. So, yeah, nothing like the last 20 years. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for the vlog. The movie side of it was actually longer than I expected, but you know. I just thought I want to. I don't want to be. I don't want vlogs to be too long unless I'm going out on a big day or a holiday. Unless I'm doing like a big thing, I prefer to keep them short. So uh, even now, it's I feel it's a bit too long. But if you have watched the vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm just looking forward now to recording more videos, streaming. I couldn't stream last night, which is I was, I was frustrated by, but I was so knackered by clearing out the cupboard that I couldn't stream last night. I kept streaming every day last week when I was working, but when I'm on holiday. That's when I miss a day. Unbelievable, unbelievable. But I'm looking forward to streaming tonight again. Um, and the Euros are coming this week as well, this weekend. So, uh, and I hope to, hopefully I can go cinema again a couple more times this month as well. And hopefully this 10 day holidays doesn't go, doesn't go too fast because it already has gone too fast. It's already Wednesday. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm back to work in eight days. Oh my days, that's not good. Anyway, um, the Euros are coming though. So I'm looking forward to that mainly. So, uh, yeah, I'll be excited. I think on Tuesday as well, England, Germany play France, England on Sunday as well. Some good games lined up and I had to make a choice on Saturday. Do I watch Belgium v Russia or do I go to the cinema to watch The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard? 
the Belgians play some good football and the Russians are not to be underestimated, especially in the Euros where they do quite well. Should I be missing that to watch a action comedy? We shall see.